Hi everyone, we will start um, Jix News. Today I, I will be uh, presenting it. I'm Andre Graves, one done professional. And let's start. We start from our news from international tournaments. And today, first, I want to talk about match that was a friendly match between Japan and Taiwan. Uh, there was playing um, six people each and uh, in this game uh, in this match was also two females from both sides and uh, time settings were 30 minutes and three times 30 seconds and in the end uh, Taiwanese managed to win this is really unexpected to me even though this match was like Japan against uh, Taiwan and uh, basically players were from Nihon Kin uh, so it means that Taiwanese players can show some really good results and then the score was 8-4 uh, last year they also had say much and say much finished with the score at 6-6 now uh, yeah there is some photos some table if you are interested if you are very good in characters you can read this uh, yeah now about asia now it's more interesting especially for me i don't know uh, how is the situation in the um, Nihon Kin and the Meijin title match. Uh, Yamayuta is always one of the stars in Japan. He's uh, playing uh, Meijin against uh, hmm, against Ichiri Kirio. And uh, now um, the score is 2-1 for Ichiriki. Uh, this was kind of the fourth games and I think it's best of seven so if you will kind of if Yama will lose this probably I feel like uh, Ichiriki would take the title uh, so we can check the game overall it was an interesting one so Uh, I think uh, this game was kind of even. They both player play a bit aggressive from the beginning, uh, but one impressive move that uh, I was kind of didn't expect to see is was this kind of bump. I feel like uh, also Yamayuta didn't expect that, and then there was a really nice sequence, and I have feeling that. Uh, this shape kind of worked in the beginning and white have really decent amount of cash and felt like the position like from this point i feel like black was not happy and you have to give up a ponuki after and capture some cash and now uh, feels like white was ahead for some time and this then we are have some kind of fight where have some exchanges overall i'm thinking that this all uh, fight was okay and the result is still a decent i would always play as white here and i feel like maybe um ichiri kirio played a bit harsh like he tried to to win too much maybe and he went for really too optimistic invasion like this invasion was okay but then after he tried to create another group and i think this was too much like he has so much cash if he just jumps somewhere here i think he can easily probably win the game but he went for uh, some really difficult fighting game and in the end like you can see white have two get two groups one and one fr from the top one on the left and uh, it feels it goes feels a bit risky and then after some moves basically Yama just went for a kill sometimes I feel like it's 50 50 but uh, black has so much so many stones around so this time it just didn't work out yeah this was the final sequence clean kill um, I think even at that point already both of the players like a few moves ago ago both players knew that this is probably will die so that cut in the beginning this was a bit too much and I feel like this might cost Ichiriki Ryo a title okay let's go to the other Japanese title match um, next uh, Japanese match would be 
Um, wait for a second. Next Japanese match uh, would be against with Yamayuta. It would be Aegon Cup. Uh, this time Yamayuta uh, face uh, Kuok again. And uh, yeah, they played before also in the final of these tournaments like a few years ago and also Yamayuta won. Um, this time another game. It was the first game of the match and this time Kaokagon managed to defeat Yamayuta. So maybe it would be more more interesting match. I feel like every, uh, recently Yamayuta starts a lot of matches with losing first games. But in the end, it's even more interesting. So we can check this game. So go for it and we can start. Here, uh, I think from the beginning, uh, uh, Kuok again just started to take cash, no matter what. And I feel like this idea is not in generally bad. Like he created so many groups and survived with any. But how he survived this was kind of on the edge. Uh, this is like in a previous game, Yamayuta killed the group. In this game, in this game, I think he. Could he could kill even more groups, but didn't manage. So some luck. Like yeah, why just taking cash? A lot of groups, like one group here, one group here, a lot of groups, but also a lot of cash. So overall, it's fine. And now yeah, now also the third one appears. Now it's three groups even. But well, it's still a fight. And now black goes really for a difficult challenge, and black goes to really. Like now at this point, I thought that black probably will win. Um, from my perspective, this is very difficult situation for white. But white were okay and in the end even managed to connect, all, not even connect, but managed to live with all groups. I think here uh, already y uh, Yama tried to kill really hard. Maybe at this point, if he come back and will just not go for a kill, but accepts that he cannot kill. It's still a game, but he went for like kind of all in sequence and he didn't really kill one. And then there was a lot of stuff with the other group, which also managed to leave. So in the end, all white group managed to leave. Then he went for the last call, which was there still a problem. And uh, after this last call, Black got it, uh, but it's still not enough. Now he went also to the last group, try to kill the last one, and Kuok again just win uh, with a nice Tesuji. Uh, I think it was not as difficult game, so like here, yeah, he just win by end game, and I feel like it was not so difficult. At some point after uh, White caught this and managed to destroy the bottom, lived with the corner, Black was always behind on a cache, and after that was really difficult to come back. Well, this is a good start for Kuok again. We hope it would be more interesting match, so we can uh, check it later. Uh, now we have also an, a lot of stuff to, to think about. Okay, now it's 1-0. Also, this week, female Honimbo final match starts. Uh, I think uh, uh, this time Fuzi Savarina uh, plays... Uh, Fuji Savarina plays Hoshe Shibo. Uh, Hoshe Shibo is challenger this time. Uh, first game took place uh, Tuesday. Next game will be uh, played uh, in Chiyoda next Friday. Uh, we can check the first game. The game was super intense. I think you can guess who won after, from this photo. I mean, Fuzi Savarina is smiling and Hoshida Shiho is not, but the game was super close. It was just a half point. Let's check this one. Um, I think this game was also very interesting. Both, uh, both players, oh, wait, just like this, both players tried to uh, 
play kind of calm game and overall uh, black was more uh, oriented to potential and it was kind of good kind of oh, everything was balanced balanced everything is balanced and now feels like uh, I, I have a feeling that I would like to play white because I like cash more, but black is also okay and this Moyo in center becomes to grow, so should be good. And then uh, they started to play endgame and then this very interesting exchange happened, I think. Like, I cannot really, like, white played here and black played this one and I cannot imagine not answering this and I feel like this might be a mistake and maybe white should have answered and try to go for that exchange and because of that uh, black gained few points in the end and the game was super uh, super close black won by half and this is probably was the reason why black lost and it's super painful with the challenger to start the game and start the title match with uh, losing 0-1, especially if you are losing for like really half a point. They also played the co and even white won it, but it was still a half a point. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go further. So now Fujisa Arena is winning. Well, I, I I think it would be she has really good chances to defend her title this year. So we will see. Yeah, and now is first. Uh, it was uh, the Kansai Ki in first place. We they have a match, and now Yu Jinji wins his title fifth time in a row. He's strong, like like he's the strongest player for a long time. Also. Uh, he's probably one of the Japanese uh, professionals who shows not bad result on international areas. So it's kind of makes sense that he's winning also Kansai King uh, tournament. Uh, we can check the last game that they were playing. There was, uh, yeah, a Yu Chen Chi was playing Sada Atsushi. And we can see uh, the game right now. So this one, uh, the game by itself was kind of okay, but this invasion was kind of strange. Then some interesting, it looks like an interesting idea, but uh, in the end, I feel like black really didn't get a really good result. So I, I have a feeling that maybe, maybe it was some study before I didn't saw this but i don't think this is really successful it looks like white uses simple simple moves and kind of punish and then this was a new move making kind of me i a and b uh, but uh, overall as far as there is black group white it's like even though it's not that weak white still can manage to have some center moves yeah, and also here white kind of impressed me. I thought white will block no matter what, but white just cut, take cash, and make a solid group. And in the end, on the bottom side, white has so much cash that probably it's enough and very difficult to attack the left. And then they just played, nothing really important happened. I think white just were playing safe, safe, and using the advantage that white get before. And in the end, why just one by a few points? I think it was like in the end, it was by resignation, but overall, nothing like really happens. Just played from the center, like this was very peaceful game. White get advantage, maybe five, seven points, just kept it till the end. And uh, Black maybe played a bit overplay here with a cut, and White just get extra points, and just Black resigned after. So well played by uh, Yu Chen Chi and yeah, hope to see him in more international tournaments in Kansai King. He's doing very well. Uh, okay, so we can go further.
So it was best of three to one, uh, to one for uh, uh, yeah. So so sick. Oh. Uh, so now also we can talk a bit about Chinese league. Uh, there is 16 teams. They play a double uh, round robin. First stage uh, round robin and second stage also round robin. Uh, the first five rounds in, uh, were played in May, next in June. And the, uh, the, um, yeah, next five in June, the, uh, the last five now. So total is 15 rounds, round robin, and now uh, they are kind of deciding. The last rounds are there. Um, each team is allowed to have one player from abroad, for example, Korea, Taiwan, I don't know. Yeah, Korea, Taiwan, Japan. Uh, there is two Taiwanese players, uh, Yamayuta and Shibano Tarumaru, uh, and one Taiwanese, Ksu Kao Hong. Uh, yeah, Yamayuta played one game at once, Shibano played two games and he has scored 1-1, one, one. yeah. So now we talk a bit about uh, female, uh, like uh, in China, Chinese female tournament. Uh, uh, in a photo, Rui Wei, she's from the left, uh, lost... Uh, um, lost in the first round to Zhao Gonru, is still done, and probably a new star. And Zhao Gonru uh, later st uh, stopped by Zhou Hongi, perhaps a favorite of this tournament. And yeah, in the end, uh, Zhou Hongi beat Wan Qingxin and she will uh, play also a final. Okay, this is Chinese tournaments, looks nice. And now uh, we can uh, we can talk a bit uh, a bit uh, a bit about the uh, UMC the Taiwanese uh, cup title match uh, between uh, Lai Junfu and Wang Yanjun. This is best of seven, very like same as in Japan, very long series, so very very long match. And uh, in this game, it was two one for Wang Yunjin. But on fourth game, I think Lai, Lai Junfu won, and the fifth one, Wai, uh, Wang Yunjun won an, uh, again. Now we will see the last fifth game, which is probably deciding. I think mainly if uh, you win the fifth game of the tournament, you have like huge chances to win it. Like it's probably the most deciding game. So uh, now we can check this game. Okay, this is the end. So overall, nothing really special happened in this game. I think here again, White took a lot of cash, um, just three big corners from the beginning, and also the fourth one. Like here, feels like White is already looking good. I'm not really fan of that Joseki. Also, I'm not fan of continuation with this Joseki with this kind of slow move and very difficult uh, recently to attack this kind of shape so i think maybe black should try something else maybe instead of this to play a bit more popular move like invasion in sun sun or something and in this kind of game they just uh, black tried to attack but i feel like black didn't gain much and white get a lot of cash there then this and sun happened but also you see on the on the right feels like white just captured too much cash and then they had some kind of fight overall everything was okay again nothing is dying there's professional games and uh, i feel like at this moment already is clear that basically white has way more cash and black needs to figure out to do something yeah and black is going for this kind of cut. I think uh, it would be okay to just answer, maybe capture the stone, but black tried to play it in a bit more 
maybe not fancy, but more efficient way, try to cut it. And then it leads to a co, which uh, probably, I mean, I, I feel like Blake just tried something and this co looks complicated. So, but white play really calmly went for like give a black a chance to live and black tried to eat to live get another call basically a bit later and yeah this leads to another call and then black is trying to live and didn't manage i think it's good try for black but uh white plays this game very well and i think white just kept the lead from the beginning till the end so well deserved a win for one in uh, one in june Okay, so uh, let's uh, see the next games. Okay, so now it's Wang Yunjun is leading 3 2. There was a tournament, there uh, was a tournament who will become a kind of a rocky in the year in Taiwan. Uh, um it's kind of tournament called sigran one literally means the king of the years and uh, there is some young uh, stars from taiwan uh, link shik sun and jian jin ting and uh, they will play in semi-final and also chen kyuru with lu uh, yuan chan uh, they are really young i think i heard recently maybe one of them somewhere so i think maybe at some point they will will become way stronger and maybe also play international tournaments because like taiwan recently performance not really bad and then we come back to europe so there was a food and match uh, a food and match uh, it's um, between china and europe uh, each team uh, consists from three years player uh, um, eight university and eight university students. The current result is 3-2 for Fudan University team. Uh, European players were Ben Barcha, Maria Chernova, and Timik Barczynski, and they are, has been eliminated already. Uh, the next round will be uh, held on next Saturday. Uh, the yeah the Boris Do, uh, Dovchik one dan will play against Tank, Sieha, uh, Tank Sinhao five dan. I think uh, Chinese ranks are maybe a bit higher than than Europeans, so I think Boris still have a decent chance to win. And we go to Vienna tournament. I was teaching here. That's I'm even on a photo. Uh, it was interesting, very nice tournament. Winner was Lukas Potpera. He managed to win all his five games. Uh, he's Recently in a really good shape, he is training to pro qualification. Second was Martin Ruzinska and third uh, finished Mania Martz. The tournament was really great. If you want, probably you should come here and you will see it by your own. Yeah. Uh, in Vienna uh, also this weekend uh, was uh, Michael Winkler Memorial. Uh, Michael Winkler was an Austrian Go player. He used to be president of Austrian Go Association. Uh, he passed away uh, this year of January 1st. And uh, a hungry hippos club organized, uh, organized a, memor a, mem a memorial tournament. So uh, this weekend, yeah. Um, this weekend there was a nice tournament in Vienna was a lot of also strong players. And yeah, looks like a good place. So it would be really, really, really nice that such nice person get memorial tournament. Uh, okay, now we can go to Sumego. Uh, as far as I'm not of, often here, I will uh, just say my impressions about Sumego. I don't know if it would be interesting or not. Uh, so this is the uh, answers from the previous one. A previous uh, week. Uh, so far, Johanna, like this is the result. Yes, I think probably everything is should be like this. I, I, I as far as I see, 72 points. Well, if 75 is a lo is maximum, is pretty good result. So it's very difficult to reach Johanna, but 
maybe someone will try to do it later. Then we go with single digit queues. This is also answers for the problems. Uh, Emilia Stalinsky beat in everyone, but she's very good in Sumigo. I, so, I, I checked so many Sumigo from her, so it's very difficult to beat him. But also Thomas Rice is second, and I can imagine he's also one of the monsters of Sumigo. As this is a problems, new problems for the next week, so you can solve them and uh, send um, all um, solutions to email. Uh, yeah, this is if you have some ad, uh, some advertisements or some advices, you can also write to this email with your ideas. Uh, for this, that's all. Uh, see you next time somewhere or also in Jigs News. Hope you have a good time. Bye.